Chris is just a guy who really needs things to be ordered in a certain way and who has difficulty with chaos and is drawn to patterns. On the one hand, he's a slightly autistic math prodigy, and on the other hand, he's got a ton of fight training. Ben was on two different roads here. He was on the spectrum road, and then he was on the training road for the action. And that second hit now feels real. It's motivating. I just thought this character, when he got into a situation that required violence, he was going to eliminate people as quickly as possible. It's math. It's chess. How do I just make the move and get them off the chessboard? Act, act. You have to have a physicality to the role. Then he comes at me and I go, fit. You have to believe that this person can do the things from a physical perspective, or it's just not going to seem real. See, that's good. When it comes like this, I can have the rope and I can block like wrist, kind of wrist to wrist. Ben, he's huge. He's so big. But I could take him in any sport. Ben Affleck. He's physical, he's big, he's strong. He can do a lot of those things that you would expect from an action star of sorts. But some people with Asperger's like to be efficient about what they do. They don't waste their words, they don't waste their movements. And so the goal was to create some very realistic action sequences with a guy who is highly trained. I called up Fern and Sam, because they did all my fight choreography and coordinating on Warrior, and I said, I want to bring you guys in to do the fighting and action on this movie. But he's not dead. Right. He's just, he comes back gone. later. Yeah, he comes back and then dies right here. Okay. Gavin's always about mirroring the character's persona in the style of martial arts action. How can the action help push the story and the character forward as the film progresses? We want to just make sure that the style was going to be very surgical, very linear, very direct and efficient. Not a lot of wasted movement. He doesn't bounce around like a boxer. So we started looking at different styles and a style that we really liked was uh, Panchak Salat, which is an Indonesian martial art. When I saw Pentak Salat, I was like, that, that, that I want. It's incredibly efficient. And I thought that that was a really unique way of servicing that idea of efficiency in a really cinematic, kind of beautiful style of fighting. So once we honed in on that, then it was building the action around that. Chris is an interesting character to approach as far as action and violence goes. We wanted to focus on his desire to always complete a task and to be perfect at what he does. So we say he's the kind of guy who would practice one elbow strike tens of thousands of times to perfect that move until it was perfect. Then he's a work, a holic. The guy's super athletic, he's really strong. So he wasn't as flexible and as mobile as we needed him to be, especially for this character. This character, he didn't need to be buff and muscular. He needed to be slick, quick, very direct and explosive. Gavin wanted him to lean down a little bit, which is hard to do in the short amount of time he had. But so his focus was very much on the martial arts training aspects. We pushed him to the point of exhaustion. He was working out every day and getting all the choreography right and looking like he has that many years of, of studying in a short amount of time. I love the style and I love the technique and so I just dove in training as hard as I could. And you can't train just to become a master. You have to train on the exact fight so you can make that one punch look great and that one flip look great. Just doing that is very, very, very hard. <laughs> John Bernthal, he actually was a boxer. He helped me a lot with the fighting stuff. And so if I didn't get the blocks down far enough, I got to find out what a real boxer feels like. But that was a good time. Ben and I really tried to tap into was this sort of juvenile fury, this thing with two brothers just sort of clashing. And it's angry, and it's emotional, and there's real resentment. It's fireworks, man. It's popping off in all directions, and it was a lot.